Sunod sa pagkuha ng derivatives, sa pagkuha ng integrals or antiderivatives ng isang function, may iba-iba ding techniques tayong dapat matutunan. At today, ang matututunan natin is yung paggamit ng substitution method para mag-integrate ng ating uh, integral functions na gumagamit din ng uh, differentiation. So for example, we have the function 2x times squared of 1 plus x squared dx. At kailangan natin kunin yung integral nitong function na to. Now, sa pagkuha ng integration or integral ng uh, function na nandito sa board natin, gagamitan natin siya ng substitution rule para makuha natin yung integral ng ating function. And to do that, mapapansin nyo meron tayong dalawang terms. Meron tayong 2x at saka squared of 1 plus x squared. So, ihahatiin natin siya using substitution. Magsaset tayo ng u para dito sa ating function at ang u natin, usually, yun yung mga nasa loob ng parentheses o kaya naman nasa loob ng radical. At ang function or ang term na nasa loob ng radical natin is 1 plus x squared. So, yung 1 plus x squared natin, ang magiging u natin at kukunin natin yung derivative ng u which is 2x dx. So, yung derivative nitong nasa loob na to is 2x dx. Now, mapapansin nyo sa technique na to, yung 2x dx ay eh makikita nyo rin sa original function. Meron tayong 2x dx na nandito dun sa original na integral function. So, ang pwede natin gawin using substitution rule is to substitute 2x dx at gawin natin siyang du. At yung namang squared of 1 plus x squared, gagawin naman natin siyang u. At yung sa pamamaraan na to, kaya natin ginagamitan ng process ng substitution is para makuha natin yung integral noong squared of u du. So, mapapansin nyo, from 2x squared of 1 plus x squared dx, since nakuha natin yung u and du, papalitan natin sila ngayon ng function na pwede natin kuna ng antiderivative or pwede natin kuna ng integral. So, now, meron tayong squared of u du. At alam na natin yung rule para pag-integrate ng square root of u du kasi na-change na natin yung ating mga variables. So, ngayon, ang gagawin na lang natin is parang regular integration process na lang, yung integral ng squared of u du, kunin nyo yung exponential form ng radical, kaya meron akong u raised to 1 half, tapos pagkuha ng integral niya, so add 1 tayo sa exponent, and then ibababa natin yung exponent, 1 half plus 1, plus c, kasi nag integrate na tayo, so ngayon meron tayong u raised to 3 over 2, all over 3 over 2 plus c, which is 2 thirds u raised to 3 over 2. Now, isa-substitute natin ulit si u kasi nag-umpisa tayo ng x function. So, tapusin natin siya na may x yung ating function. So, instead of u, plug in the value of u dun kanina, 1 plus x squared. So, ang final answer natin is 2 thirds, 1 plus x squared raised to 3 over 2 plus c. So, ito yung substitution rule ng pagkuha ng uh, integral ng isang function na gumagamit ng derivatives. Now, itong second example ko naman, let's take the integral of x cubed times 2 plus x to the 4th raised to the 5th power dx. Tulad nung ginawa natin kanina, piliin natin yung u at ang u dito, yung nasa loob ng parentheses which is 2 plus x to the 4th. And kunin nyo yung derivative niya at pag nakuha nyo yung derivative niya, mapapansin nyo na yung derivative ng u is 4x cubed dx. Now, pag nakita natin dito sa original function, walang 4 or constant na 4 dito sa function. And to do that, para makuha natin yung eksaktong um, fitting ng ating function, instead na 4x cubed dx, gawin natin siyang, or tanggalin natin si 4 dito sa x cubed dx para magkaroon ka ngayon ng 4x cubed or x cubed dx na lang dito sa function na to. So to do that, mag times ka ng 1 fourth on both sides para ma-cancel out yung 4 and 1 fourth para meron ka na ngayon 1 over 4 du equal to x cubed dx. Once again, kaya natin ginawa yung step na yan para yung ating original function is pasok pa rin dun sa substitution method natin. Kasi hindi naman natin pwedeng paltan si x cubed dx ng 4x cubed dx kasi hindi sila magkapareho. So, since pareho na siya, 
x cubed dx equal to 1 fourth du, ang magiging integral function natin ngayon will be, papalitan natin si x cubed dx ng 1 fourth du, at papalitan natin si 2 plus x to the fourth ng u, kaya meron ka ngayong integral of 1 fourth u to the fifth du. Now, yung 1 fourth nyo, pwede nyo ilabas yan kasi constant yan, and then proceed to integral process ng u to the fifth. Ang integral ng u to the fifth is u to the six all over 6 plus c, now, multiply out nyo na lang si 1 fourth, which is yung constant na nilabas nyo, kaya you have u to the 6th all over 24 plus c. So, ito na ngayon yung ating final answer sa integral ng ating function, which is 2 plus x to the 4th raised to the 6th power all over 24 plus c. Now, gamitan naman natin ng uh, trigonometric function yung ating integral process. So, example number 3, we need to find the integral of secant squared 1 over x all over x squared dx. Now, yung ating u ulit, yung nasa loob ng parentheses, which is 1 over x. So, to find the derivative of 1 over x, pwede nyo siyang gawing x to the negative 1 para mas madaling makuha yung derivative niya. At ang derivative niya is negative x raised to the negative 2 dx, kaya pwede nyo siyang simplify as negative 1x squared dx. Now, mapapansin nyo, yung du natin is nandun din sa original function. So, yung ating x squared, x squared is nasa denominator, and then dx is right here. So, parehas siya ng form dun sa ating derivative. So, pwede natin siyang palitan. Kaso nga lang, meron tayong negative dito. So, isasama natin yung negative dun sa integral process natin. Kaya yung ating secant squared 1 half or 1 over x all over x squared dx, pag pinalta nyo siya ng x squared dx, magiging du na lang siya. Kaya, andito yung du ko, tapos may negative sign ako rito, dahil may negative yung du ko kanina, and then yung aking 1 over x, papaltang ko na siya ng u. Now, na mas malinis na yung ating integral function, mas madali na tayo mag integrate using um, regular process ng integral. So, ang integral ng secant squared u is tangent u, kaya pwede natin siyang substitute na dito kasi ang integral ng secant squared u du is tan u plus c. Going back to your original u, yung u nyo is 1 over x, so pinalitan ko siya ng 1 over x. So yung final answer nyo is negative tangent 1 over x plus c using the substitution method. Now, paano naman mag integrate kung ang ating integral functions ay eh merong upper limit at lower limit? So, gagamitan din natin siya ng substitution method pero magkakaroon tayo ng panibagong step. Ito naman yung paggamit ng substitution method for definite integral. So, yung example natin, we have x times the quantity of x squared plus 1 raised to the third power dx from 0 to 1. Now, sa paggamit ng substitution method, para yung ginawa natin sa first three examples, yung nasa loob ng parentheses is x squared plus 1, yung derivative ng x squared plus 1 is 2x dx. Now, yung 2x dx, walang 2 dito sa original function nyo, so let's get rid of 2 by multiplying both sides by 1 half, kaya meron akong 1 half d u equal to x dx. So, meron na akong x dx na pwede kong palitan ng 1 half du at yung x squared plus 1 ko, papaltan ko na lang ng u. So, yung aking new function is 1 half u cubed du from 0 to 1. Now, yung lower limit natin at upper limit dito sa function na to, hindi natin siya pwedeng gamitin kasi yung 0 and 1 is true only for x hindi para sa u. So, to find the lower and the upper limit para sa bago nating function, kasi nag-substitute tayo ng variable from x to u mula dito sa ating step na to, pagkuha ng lower limit nyo is iset nyo lang yung lower limit nyo, x is equal to 0, and then gamitin nyo yung function ng u nyo, which is x squared plus 1, at isubstitute nyo yung lower limit nyo sa x squared plus 1 para makuha nyo ngayon yung bago nyong lower limit. So from 0, it's now changed to 1 kasi ito na yung ating lower limit na gagamitin para sa ating UDU. Ang gagawin din natin siya sa upper limit, yung upper limit natin dito with x is 1. So, x is equal to 1, u is x squared plus 1, substitution, and you'll have x equal to 2, which is your new upper limit. So, now, meron ka ngayong integral notation na 1 half u cubed du from 1 
to 3. So once again, yung upper limit and lower limit nyo is nabago kasi from 0 to 1, it's only true for x. Kailangan natin siya for u, so nag-substitute tayo doon sa ating function. So regular integral or definite integral process na lang, so u to the 4th all over 4, substitute nyo yung upper limit, so you have 2 to the 4th all over 4 minus yung lower limit, which is 1 raised to 4 all over 4, which will give you 15 over 8. So yung definite integral nitong function na to, using substitution method, is 15 over 8.